Chris. Hope you're doing well and welcome to Popcorn Finance, the show where we discuss finance and about the time it takes to make a bag of popcorn. I appreciate you all coming back as always and joining me here for another episode. And I got back from a vacation not that long ago. And you know, vacations are a magical thing. You know, it's always great going somewhere new, somewhere you've never been before, or maybe just going back to a place that you really enjoy visiting and just kind of getting to unwind, not thinking about work, not thinking about school, whatever it may be. You can just take your mind off of things and enjoy new food and new places and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, for me, vacations have been a stressful thing when it comes to the money side of it, because I don't don't know how you all handle vacations and the amount of money you're going to spend. But I know in the past for me, it's been, well, I really want to go on a vacation. I think I got enough money to cover the flight and I got enough to cover the hotel and I'm just going to wing the rest. That's That's pretty much how it went. And so I would go on these trips, go places, and then get there and then be dreading spending money, just thinking about, I don't really have money for this. And I would really like to go to this one food place. And well, actually, this is how it would really go. I'd get to this location. I'd go have a great meal, really enjoy myself, then get the bill, sign for it, and be like, oh man, that was a lot of money. And it just goes downhill from there because at that point, I'm thinking about the money I'm spending everywhere I go. And it just became a really stressful thing for me. And it, it kind of gave me a little bit of anxiety thinking about, you know, where can I go and how much can I spend and should I be doing this and should I have gone on this trip? It, it just turns into this whole big thing. And so I knew I needed to do something about that. I had to change my habits because this was not going to work for me. I did not like uh, ruining vacations and not, <laughs> not enjoying uh, the time that I took to go to where it is I may be going. So the big thing for me, and and I think this is the first time that I've really implemented this into my life because I think this is the first vacation I've gone on in a while, which wasn't related to some type of work, is I set up a savings account just for vacations. No particular vacation, just for vacations in general. And so what I do is I send money to this account every paycheck. I've decided I'm gonna send $75 every paycheck. And it's not a ton of money, but over a few months, it really adds up. So I decided to take this vacation and I had about $500 sitting in this account. It just built up over over several months. And the freedom that I felt on this vacation was like nothing I've ever experienced before. I could go on this trip. I mean, obviously, I wasn't going to go crazy. I mean, because you could probably spend that $500, you know, <laughs> in one stop, in one restaurant. It, it easily happened. Uh, but I, I I played it cool. I didn't go crazy. But I was able to, to go around, enjoy the city, enjoy the food. I should probably tell you, I went to San Francisco. I went up there and... I was able to do it without the same stress and anxiety that had been plaguing me for so many other trips that I've taken. And, you know, a point to note here, I used some points, rewards points for the hotel and the flight. So that part was covered. And so for me, I was like, all right, I got to travel and sleep for free. And now I just have to worry about, you know, the food and maybe a few things here and there. But I have this pot of money just sitting there waiting to be used without any strings attached. I'm not pulling away from my food budget, from gas, from anything else. I can comfortably know I can spend this money and have a good time. And that's just all I want to talk to you about today was, you know, this idea of setting money aside for specific purposes. So, you know, if you like taking trips, but you don't like the idea of overspending or like feel like you're going unprepared financially, open up a savings account. That's what I did. I opened up a savings account just for vacations. I even called it vacations and had an automatic transfer set up to go to that account every payday. So I don't even think about it. I don't even realize it's happening. It just happens on uh, auto, autopilot or whatever you want to call it, but it it has relieved stress from me in so many areas. I use that for uh, car registration. I use it for gifts during the holidays. It, all these different things that are one time or occasional large expenses that can cause stress and anxiety. I just set the money aside and it's there for me when I need it. So that's all I wanted to share with you today is how I finally took a vacation without feeling stressed about money because I set this money aside on a regular basis and it was there for me waiting, just begging for me to take a vacation. So, you know, this may be something that you can think about implementing into your budget. If there's things that you have coming up, maybe it's car repairs, maybe it's a specific uh, thing you want to go do. Maybe it's a special restaurant that's really expensive that you'd like to go to, but you can't see yourself spending that much money. Try opening up a savings account just for that purpose. So that way you have this money sitting there waiting for you and you can enjoy yourself stress-free. So as always, I appreciate you all joining me here for this vacation themed bag of popcorn. I don't know what flavor that would be. But tell me, you know what? Visit me over on Instagram at popcorn finance and tell me what vacation themed popcorn flavor would be. I don't know what that is, but you but come over and tell me what that is. Help me figure this out. But until then, until I get those answers, until I join you next week, hope you have an amazing rest of your week and I'll talk to you soon. 
Your boy keep it poppin' like Mary Poppins.